uh, yeah, right. that, that's what oh, I was thinking. Wait, it's yeah, yeah. It's Good evening. Welcome to another yeah. All right, session I'm gonna of it Squad Ops. It doesn't have to be outside uh, of the compound. Saturday, the what, 23rd? And this is Operation Mistwalker. I am Tedish, okay. joined by Expert, another commentator, and commander, experienced commander. But I commanded last uh, this right morning's session. Uh, Expert, yeah. you here? I'm yep. here. There he is. I'm a little tired right. from that first round, sorry. Right, that was a marathon, wasn't it? But yeah, it looks like people are just starting to get filtered into the map. Running a little bit behind schedule, but should be able to kick it off pretty quickly once everybody's in here. So we're doing a giant platoon line, single spacing, 25 minutes. And trying to uh, hear in on what Shadowed, who is the command for uh, militia, so is going to do. I don't think he's landed on a, on an exact plan yet. Uh, let's go over the operation here real quick while everyone's joining in. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Um... We'll go over the kits real quick, uh, which again, very simple. This is an infantry op. So both sides per squad just get two ARs and two medics. That's it. No vehicles, no heavy weapon assets. This is just rifles and grenades, smoke grenades and movement. Um, it's pretty different from a lot of our ops. Normally you have grenade launchers and lats involved to uh, help assault and cover. But in this one, just, just maneuvering. And then the objective, uh, coming up on the second page here, is just around this peninsula. Basically, both teams are in a foot race to it. First team to get there can set up, drop one fob, set up uh, basic defenses. They don't get any supply drops, so they just have enough for a couple sandbags or the militia can set down a machine gun because their machine guns are cheaper. And then they're on defense, and the other team is tasked with digging them out of there. So it's whoever gets there first. So um, some teams will move in there as quickly as they can, and other teams will concede it to the other point because they want to attack. But it's pretty good, uh, pretty good operation. There aren't a ton of different ways to approach, but um, oh, and that's the other important point on this is infantry are forced to cross bridges. You can't cross the water like you can in regular. So um, that puts a lot of choke point on the bridges. Um, yeah, and just restricts movement. It funnels in all the combat onto that peninsula. Well, not all of it, as we saw last time. Had a couple <laughs> of ring around the rosies, but uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on this as a as a pretty regular commander here? How, what what different avenues do you see to uh, approach this situation? Well, um, I think so. The op is meant to be kind of like a meeting engagement, meaning that there's going to be a lot of uh, contact off of the the point itself. The actual uh, fortification, which I'm over right now, as you can see, it's got two pillboxes on it, some natural cover. So the idea is to, for the militias probably to get here as quick as they can, occupy it, and for Russia, it's to approach into into this area in some kind of cover. And it always ends up kind of more to the west, but uh, there's a lot of avenues that the uh, each team can take to get to the objective. So it mostly breaks down to those individual firefights all over the map and who wins what engagement and then who can move forward or backwards depending on the win loss of that. Yeah, just the individual engagements. And this is on this fog layer, so it makes a, it makes the infantry combat even more slow paced, uh, just because they're not gonna get those ultra long range engagements because the fog gets in the way. Um, this is the bridge right here that the militia tend to cross on the north. They can get to this first, um, but if they take their time, this can be a kill zone, as we saw in the first round after the little uh, flip side flip that happened through. You're gonna uh, keep bringing that up, aren't you? It, well, it reminded me of a long time ago we had an op. I don't know if we have ever officially concreted it. Is that a word? Made, uh, made it an official op where it was basically just bridge crossing. That was it. The whole thing was crossing that bridge. And uh, it was just turned into a kill zone every single time. Which is probably why we don't see it as a real op, but still fun to be in. But uh, so militia cross this guy generally and then move in from there. But uh, let's see. How are the guys, everyone's filtering in? Looks like most people are joined. A couple of the squads are still on fill, on 
not a hundred percent full. We'll be able to listen to the right briefing here, here shortly. Looks like they're in a squad leader. No, this is just a squad. Here we go. Distributing kits. Yeah, if you're new to the stream, this is uh, Squad Ops, squadops.gg website. Check us out. It's one life event. We're a community here. Uh, it's not a clan. It's just a group of guys, a couple gals that like playing events like this. It's a, it's a good time. Really changes things from vanilla squad. You get one life. You get that adrenaline going. It uh, can get pretty crazy. I like that tape on the mug. That's a great little touch. Probably kick this thing live in a couple, maybe like five, ten minutes here would be my guess. And then of course, so there's me and Expit, Tedish and Expit here, running the cameras above, but we also are joined by by Penn, the man behind the cameras, who's controlling what you see. Uh, with his PBS system, the Penn Broadcasting System. Multicams, picture in picture. It's fantastic, right? It is a thing, Pen. <laughs> it is a thing. Uh, yeah, it looks like, okay, they're pulling them in, so we should get a platoon brief here shortly. I thought that's why oh, we're going through the cameras here. Yeah, we got a list of those cameras. I think I can see the top of it here. So we got uh, Burns, who was command from last game, uh, Silverman, Keys, XFX, Server Error, It's Crispy. Silent Death, Shadow Ritual, like, and Evan SMA. So she's like, my body gets deported. Oh. Right. Okay. Here, let's listen okay. in to the yeah, militia briefing. Really she wasn't a citizen. Yeah, five, 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 our south, uh, south flank, uh, heading to the MG mark, making sure they don't cross the train bridge, providing uh, a base of fire onto the south part of the peninsula. Squad two is gonna head straight to the fob part, set up uh, set up the fob, and I think he wants to set up an MG, and uh, basically hold hold the objective prop. Squad three is gonna head to the assault rifle mark, that little uh, rock outcropy, and basically hold the road until they get overrun, and then they're gonna fall back towards the fob. There's also a, a good like building on that uh, on that sniper marker that they can head to. Um, squad four is gonna be out on the flank on the uh, marker above no uh, Neva Lower. And they're going to wait them to commit to us on the peninsula, and then they're going to swing around behind them. Uh, it's a pretty basic plan. Listen to your squad leaders for any finer details. If any questions? Cool. If there are no questions, I will call for lives. Squad leaders, break my final details. That's just a full up. Oh, there's only 65 in my boat. There are a lot of people in pre-op, why aren't I... Let's go join the group. There is a lot of people in pre-op. Oh, we on foot? Okay. Alrighty, so that was the militia yeah, briefing uh, here. Russian, are we it's pretty standard. Like... Pushing one squad yeah. to defend the rail bridge in case the Russians try anything cheeky. All the other squads yeah, pushing across the north bridge it. and fanning out from there. Pretty standard fare, it's kind of what you'd expect, but hard to improve on. It's what happens after the bridges that's the key to the op. Yep. Yeah, how many flanks you can get in. And then, yeah, it's down to that, those individual rifles. He tells us that a lot. Run fast, you say bolt. The Russians are about to do their brief. I think we got a camera in there. We should be able to listen in. So I do have a question. Is this considered a cr uh, run over bowl thing right here? These walls? You will never see why did you guys name, name yourself Bear? I, you know it don't work bear. out better. That's why. Anyway, why? So why Bear? You know the five what? people just kind of come in as they come in. Why Bear? I don't understand. Cop. Cop. Because we're bears. No optics. Cop. Bear. Cop. Cop. And and. With a Russian bear. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> come here, friend. Come here, war face. Come here. Come more face, come. Shame. 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 Shame.
I put a... <laughs> Say the guy with the bad. Why wasn't he, oh. why wasn't he naked? Oh. I said Mario. Cool. Mario oh. sure oh. oh. had one too. Shame. Man. Shame. We need to come back. Shame. Back. Shame. No options. Uh, I got a mouse. Ding, ding, ding. Guys, I got a mouse. We should do it again. The, uh, Am I allowed to have a mouse? Hey, Rooks. Hey, Krusty. Krusty. I'm going to shout out PUBG after. Possibly. You know what? Okay, that, this is the wrong the place in time. Yep. Yeah, getting... They stole our plan. So, please in time. Damn it. Okay, so, Shame. look, we're not going to do what Exit did because I, I, I don't know why I'd ever cross the river with my entire platoon, but that, that just doesn't <laughs> seem like it's going to work out very well for us. Uh, <laughs> Under the bus. In, and we're also, you know, we're, we're not going to, we're going we're gonna to try something innovative, though. I, everyone, everyone so far has set up their defense like this. They have a squad here, they have another squad here on this hill. Right next to them, and they have a squad here at these bunkers, and they have a squad at the actual bunkers. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. It's a good line, and that's how we're gonna defend next round, because that's honestly the smartest thing to do. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do this round to attack it. Instead of pushing in from the west, which is the standard, kind of like making a big platoon line and then uh, moving in, we're gonna go straight northeast off of Y through Echo Nine, through Foxtrot Eight. Then we're going to have one squad anchor right here. They're going to assemble a platoon line on this line, right? Like this. Then we kind of swing the gate closed, right? Like this squad on the far end there ends up here. This squad ends up here. This squad ends up here. We got, got a nice line like that, right? So then we'll have one and two up there, uh, H741 and G738, and then three and four. They kind of move up past one and two, and they go take up positions here. And their objective is to go and secure this nasty little hill right here. Because that, that hill will fuck us up. That, that hill is what we need to get past in order to get towards their objective. If once three and four take that hill, like once that's under our control, everything else is much easier. Because then one and two can slip around the side and start engaging from here. They can they can get when he's pressing fire and smokes out on that one bunker. Three and four can then advance up to that bunker and clear it. Then while they're, you know, finishing up that, one and two can slide right on in and take FOB compound, wiping out all the militia who are left on it. Does that make sense? Easy. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. Nice and easy. Thank you for the explaining hard part how your is mind works. trees everywhere, and smoke will make everything fucking impossible to see, and there's a lot of mist, and the bunkers are really well defended, so use your frags on the bunkers. Try and avoid using them on the rocks and shit like that. Save those frags for clearing the goddamn bunkers, because those bunkers are the worst. Last if time you're right, use you have frag. two frags, use as many frags. Oh yeah, exactly. Last time, Burns and company used frags, and good god, so many people died. They were all on top yeah. of each other. Battle yeah. space is important. But yeah, if you're a rifleman and you have frags, feel free to use one out in the field, but I want you to save at least one frag for breaching compounds, because it's, it's very important to have them. Alright, we're starting to get the uh, the rest of our, our players here, so we're going we're gonna to have a nice full server. It's going to be great. No, it's it's hey, going to be brother, fantastic. You need to space between your tag and your name. Alright, so operation, um, close so the gate. Any questions? Yeah, more or less. Operation Shut uh, the gate. gate closer. Swinging gate. Oh, I got yeah, a question. Yeah, Rusty there we go. That's a football so is it term Rusty I haven't heard in gate. three years. Is it, is it 4 3 Pony the football. Uh, uh, All right. That was the Russian briefing there. Um, but it looks like we are going to restart the stream really quick. Uh, we forgot to add a couple channels here. Um, we got to fix one other issue too. So we should be back up in one minute. Stuck between a fence and the thing, so I, they had to put a rally down for me. They got us spotted. I was so upset. Not so. Just me about the team. Oh, did I hurt myself? Yeah, I'm pretty. I didn't have to. All the operators were cheap, so I got the promotion. Yeah, it was a pretty good game when it first came out. And I just got bored of it real quick. Yeah, I'm into like those competitive shooters, like Overwatch. Like I'm into first person. I'll play RTSs with my friends. Have you played Warcraft uh, 2? That's just shit. Yeah, yeah it was Ellie. Nice. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I was just like a Nova 4 or some shit. Like, Gold Nova 4 for a while and I just stopped. It's like, fuck that shit, bro. Like, people were just so fucking good at that game, man. 
it, yeah, we're insane. It's 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 scary. It's just. <laughs> Dude, but like, I like Squad, I like the first person, but like, vanilla games, they just don't get me going. I get 20 kills and I don't feel accomplished. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Don't worry, things are gonna be changing when V10 comes out. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. V10. Oh, shit. I want another op of this player. Dude, everyone's gonna want an FTL for that AR. The atmosphere. What's uh, what's the oh, so we'll yeah, yeah, play? Even uh, uh, came back to school. Oh, yeah. then came back. So they've teased, for six months they've teased that the AR is. All right, looks like we're back um, and rolling on like all channels now. Months. Nice. Okay. So we should be going momentarily. I haven't seen a live call yet. Both teams are briefed. Got their plans. So we should have a live call shortly here. For just joining us, this is a Squad Ops One Life event. Find out more squadops.gg. But basically, we one life scenario driven events using the squad game. Everyone you see is an individual player. There's no AIs involved. That'd be cool if we could get get it there, but not quite yet. Check us out website squadops.gg. Join us on Discord and hang out, play games. You don't just play squad, but that is the main game. All right, looks like Militia just called ready. Yeah, looks like we got a nice full op here. I'm sure there's a bunch of people on the wait list. There always are. Yeah, I see some names in here that just went through basic about an hour ago, so that'll be fun nice. for them. First op. Get those first op jitters out of the way. I remember right. my first op. Man, I was... I was so nervous. <laughs> I guess we should mention that uh, as you're watching uh, me and Tedish, that the uh, guys highlighted in red are the Russians and the blue is the militia team. So I'm going to keep track of who's who. Looks like Best Pony is probably still giving his motivational speech to his troops over here on the Russian side. I really uh, haven't done with that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Maybe they're telling jokes or something. Let's go over the commands and squad leads before they get started here. What do you say? Yeah, got to give them some props. Who do we got over on the Russians? Let's take a look. So we got Krusty the Sailor of Squad 1, Burns in Squad 2, which, which was the uh, opposing command in the earlier session. Nasty Nate in Squad 3, LaRue in Squad 4, and Best Pony's Command. Good old LaRue. Headshot yep. at 500 meters. Love it. All right, on Militias, we got Creeping, Server Error, Turtle Guy 5, and Chappie is the squad leads with Shattered Ritual as Command. So everyone's pretty experienced. Definitely got some new names, but we definitely have a lot of experience in these squads, too. Everyone you see with an ops tag is either staff, admin, or there's another category that has, we have no differentiation because it's a community that uh, they're known as regulars. You know, just, they're around a lot, and uh, they play games with everybody, and on the server a lot, and they're just, yeah, they're just regulars. <laughs> Curious if any crazy stuff's gonna come out. As we know, uh, Best Pony likes to uh, come up with some elaborate plans. Uh, it's funny how uh, commanders uh, get was, somewhat of a reputation. Uh, there we go. Russia just called ready. Should be kicking off here in probably one minute. Oh yeah, like the GL and the uh, no, no, no. I'm talking. Like yeah. Your the camera. Oh, and McKee, yeah, so you apply to join, like, Arma Communities. Um, so, yeah, it's an open open community. Uh, you just hang out with us on Discord. And then, like I was saying, uh, once you become, you know, once you're around enough and you've proven that you're mature enough to, to play these type of games and not troll at all, then, yeah, we'll get you in as a regular. And you don't need to be regular to play in the ops, but we have a little basic training. We make everybody... Go through to get everybody on the same page. Takes what, 40 uh, minutes? 30, 30, 40 minutes now? And yeah, then, basically uh, goes pretty quick. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, but it's actually, yeah, it's pretty uh, fun. Are we going to be in Ocean, Christy? Regular skateboard. 
Brigaders get a little bonus too. Sometimes they get to be the first test of uh, new ops and do some events for them. And it kind of oh, yeah. Like that. It's a regular Friday event. Shut the gate! They are volunteering for an Alzheimer walk. Wait, who's Alpha and who's oh, I'm Alpha? Out. Do whatever. I don't care what you do. Just make sure that right. we all know who's who and what. Yeah, yeah Owen was uh, between the rounds. So we're gonna have two rounds today, tonight. Uh, oh, let's go. Do the one round, take a break, and then do the second round. And in that break, we'll uh, roll our little video on what the, the okay, training is. It's called SOTT. Gotta be one other piece. Just Come a on, basic, man. basic training. Make sure everyone's on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And I get freaking one tap by Nikki. It's, it's fantastic. That's how it goes. So the EU I games, Owen. The answer to that. Uh, That's a great there game. is a yeah around uh, earlier today. It was what it ended, roughly two and a half hours ago, and started about two and a half hours before that. So whatever time that ends up for you. But generally, those are better for the EU crowd. All right, here we go. Going live in three seconds. And the foot race has commenced. Looks like we got two squads heading north, one heading west. No formation. Going with the blob. But they're militia, they can do that, that's fine. Yep, classic militia formation. The Russians look like they're doing anything special over there? Uh, just a standard deployment. This looks like they're probably splitting off in a little bit different directions, but all sort of heading northeast. Apple Infidel asks you guys rank your player like who can have what class. Um, so your squad lead uh, designates two um, fire team leaders, and then within those fire team leads, then you pick classes underneath that. And we do have an advanced weapons course that if you take that course, you kind of get first dibs on the uh, the fire support roles. Um, but other than that, there's nothing, and it's just another class you need to take after basic. You don't have to. Um, she said. But they can be it can be pretty useful if you're new to the oh. game, um, and or if you want first dibs on the grenade launcher or saw or anything else. Get that nice predator view from above here eventually. Russian dots on the left. And two blue blobs on the right. Converging on those bridges. Yeah, you probably won't see formations until they get a little closer. Or at least defining movements of different squads and where they're going to be going. Looks like a rush is stopping to check the train bridge to see if militia is heading over it. All right, we're about a minute out from contact can they see right from now. That Go ahead and get your weapons out and everything like that. Yeah, with the binoculars, you can. One on our I guess the binos. I didn't think they had quite line of sight on it. We'll Ooh, crossing the, the top of the train bridge at this point? That'd be a bold move. We saw yeah, on the op, op last week, or I guess, was that Wednesday? Where uh, Fishhook, where the, uh, the four intel guys and they hid inside the train cars on the train bridge for uh one of the best ponies rounds that was an interesting strategy yep and they weren't bothered at all <laughs> nope. there we go a massive crossing at the north bridge yep, you can see those blue marks in the far distance there that's the bridge 
Looks like they're maybe they're just being orderly, but but maybe they're leaving a fire team behind. Because at this point, they know that there's no way the Russians can contact them Good at that point. Here. I guess they're just being orderly. All right. It's good to practice battle spacing. It's one of the things we try to preach. As soon as you might be in contact, like, try to never be within spitting distance of your buddy. Looks like the entire Russian team is uh, foregoing the southern bridges. Just heading into Neva upper lower area. It looks like they're just doing a full platoon push to the north side. I don't know why, but my favorite section of this map is uh, looks like if both squads just continue forward, right where they're going to reach, right where they're going to mm. meet on this little hill where if you played the map no enough, it used to have the uh, the sound bug on top of it. They may be swinging, uh, north and you just have random firing north. sounds. Yeah, I think they fixed that in the last patch, didn't they? Yeah, about damn time, but uh, it made for some pretty hilarious encounters up there but i really like the terrain up there i don't know what it is about it i always seem to do well looks like russia's going really far north yeah they're doing a... what do you think best pony's gonna go up to the the bridge in the india too oh i hope not i, mean, <laughs> I didn't kilo too coffee might need to get an energy drink if you decide to go all the way up there Nah, it looks like they're just forming a giant platoon line from east, southwest to northeast, and they're just going to sweep. That's what they're turning into right now. Whose fire team is this? We got this full squad running directly into that Russian line. Yep, and it just keeps getting longer and longer. It looks like they're going to do a full platoon line and just move into them. Yeah, this squad is going to get enveloped. Hopefully they have a good place to retreat from, but they are on my favorite hill. And they're looking the wrong way for the most part. Hopefully they have good 360. Look at that line just splayed out. Give me a sit rep on what their vector is. What? I wasn't here for free. Well, if they keep cresting here, they're going to end up seeing the... Uh, the Russians are going to see them if they keep moving over that crest. There we got like two militiamen just... out on the edge. Weiss and Peyton. First to make contact here. No contact to anybody? Nope. They are within visual distance. Negative contact. All right, well, I guess we should get to know each other before I die. All right. Uh, I don't <laughs> think I, I have eyes on uh, the, the knoll just west of you one. I don't think they, they like a, there. I don't like turtles. Um, they may be Not just cool. out of range for the, the bug. They may um, fuck yeah. up my vision. That's me. But I think they're going north. Peyton apparently is not a fan of turtles. Or you need to keep eyes out. As he is introducing himself to his Roger. battle buddy. Oh man, this guy has so many guys that can potentially see him. Oh, that line is coming in on him. Oh shit, they're moving straight into the other line. Oh wow, here we go. Oh, oh, they called contact. Here we go. 
The Russians aren't going to see them. Raking. It's going to be about 30 rifles firing upon them. Yeah, right yeah. Well, the, I think the militia are going to open up for. Nope. The Russians open up first. Yeah, like line we've got going, off we have contacts to our northwest. We're taking shots. These guys are so fucked. They don't even know it. He's running. He's running across the entire formation. He takes one in the ass. Hides behind a tree. Wow. That is fantastic. That is a wall of lead coming down. <laughs> the entire platoon firing down on these guys. One down. These guys better run. Who's this being left behind up here? Weiss. Just hiding in a bush. He's not even in a bush. He's just hiding in the open. <laughs> He's got a whole fire team running right by him. One. He kills one. Takes one out. Firing randomly. Oh, he gets taken down. That was the end of him. first kill. First kill for the militia. We lost the fire team lead Bravo. Anybody else down? I think he's the one. So this guy's lost three in that engagement. The rest of the team is able to fall back. Oh, well, that's the that's the full power of a bring in the whole platoon, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Not yet, spread out, everybody spread out. Got in enough, I was in that spot. Bravo, try They're to pulling the squad the all the way out. in. They've done their frontline yeah. duty. Time for some R&R &R at the bunker. Just gonna hold the high ground for now, okay? <laughs> uh, if we move more south, we're in the valley. Meanwhile, that line just laid out all the way to the river. Yep, but now, now it's gonna flip the malicious side as they can see eyes as they crest this hill into Neva. Looks like squad one for militia in the south across the train bridge. And they have a potentially a great flank down the line here. And they're going to need them. So that is a lot of Russians coming in on uh, another individual squad here. I don't care what your position is. If it's eight guys firing against 30, that's bad news. I love these tracers on this dusk. Yeah, it's not very often you get to see tracers in squad. I mean, you see them, but they're not quite as pronounced. Uh, right. We had negative contacts crossing the bridge. We're going to head towards Neva upper right now and see if we can hit them from the side. Take a look at the squad flanking here. They're still far off. They're not going to be able to help these guys anytime soon. Oof. This trio out here just got the... Here comes the wall of lead. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have announced your position, buddy. This is not good, so yeah. That's an accurate assessment of your situation. At least he has some concealment. Yeah, the militia's got to establish some kind of fire superiority here. They're just going to keep getting steamrolled. The Russian juggernaut is just on the move. They're just not stopping for anything. Oh, they haven't hit anything that's going to stop them at this point. It's been individual pockets of resistance that they can just envelop.
Yeah, Militia's just falling back. Push off the rocks. This barrage of fire is working great for him. On the rocks, check the rocks. Up on the hill, get it. Use this down here in the river. You had me at Jalo holding the right flank. What do you see, Muff? Woo! Nothing yet? Alright, guys, everybody just try to get line on line with one and two. Uh, we'll so many targets. Uh, I'm gonna go around. Look at all those guys. Okay, guys, we've got wow. three squads. He bandaged, he hit a few of them. I see him bandaging over there. Area coming direct north what does he know? He's a whole the, squad coming up the right side of the bridge. Uh, fob. We do know. It's a slow push. We're on our bellies. But we're Come on, Bravo. Keep firing. What are you doing? You're hanging Press back. Rock, in the flowers here. Burn, sneaking through the river. To the, to the river. Seven, your current pause. Creeping squad one on the malicious side. They're still pretty far off. They got to actually close the close the gap here. It's like over 400 meters between them and the uh, contacts here. The, the Russia just keeps moving and moving. That's one of the things we teach in SOTD basic is bounding. It looks looks like that's what Russia's doing, just bounding under fire here. Meanwhile, that squad crossed the river. They're coming in on the north side or the west side. Excuse me. They're gonna. They got a good opportunity here to just collapse that line while the rest of the militia fall back. They're conceding territory, but they haven't lost a lot of people. Right yeah. now it's, yeah, three casualties total to one mm -hmm. on the Russian side. So it's still anyone's game. Militia would be wise just to hold this mound at this point and let the, uh, the other squad on the left flank come in and help. Yeah, this they're rock they're is they're a on the river's edge. Position. They're about to cross this street. They're about to cross this street right here with the bridge. I have eyes on them. Shadow, he gave me kills. Do we have a meta? Hey, we got a medic. Three, three, five, three, three, five. Shadow sees that squad on the right. Yeah, they're following this uh, river's edge. Game master, me yes. This is round one. One of two. Shadowed saying he wants to hold them here. They're stall smoking. Them here. They're smoking right here. Three, four, six. He's asking for volunteers to stay. Yeah, you see him? <laughs> Should be voluntold. Yeah, right. Here go the Russians. It looks like they're gonna push through the smoke and finally claim that rock in front of them. Yeah, it looks like the militia just conceded that position. I feel like they're gonna get down to the river and get them in these woods. Because right now they're in an okay position, but as soon, as soon as the Russians get on that hill, they are completely compromised. They're in a good ambush spot right here. Here we go. Shoot the rock. Accuracy, my man. Accuracy. They wounded one. Well, they got two of them down here wounded. It's really all they got to do is just put a couple bullets on that, you know, stops the progression. They start thinking about where yep. they're going. That did stop them, but now the rest of the Russian team's up on that rock. This fire team is uh, going to be in the open. As soon as they crest, I guess. They might be okay for a couple seconds down here, but this is all of a sudden extremely tenuous position. Stay at the base of the hill. We're not going to just yet. Looks like uh, Squad One's made some contact here on the west side. No the one's west side of the. Yep. Yeah, on that west side. How's that west flank doing? Looks like they're moving in. 
Oh, they've made contact with the far no. west uh, Russian oh, yeah. here. They're doing great over there. I see two or three kills. Oh shit, I'm gonna bleed out. I don't wanna bleed out. That'll take some momentum off of the line. I accidentally swipped, switched wow. my rifle while I was bandaging, fire. so I was freaking out. That rock outcropping. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're on rich. the river's edge. <laughs> it's like Ant Hill, Hill right now. Look, Look at, at all those ants. It's like there's... Nope, I'm still up. I'm still up. They're pushing us three. Go ahead and fall back. Go ahead That's and fall like back. three full squads right there. One is again, Copy that one. Good work. Militia lost six. Looks like the Russians have lost two. Make sure you're taking some at least like, somewhat accurate down. fire. Just uh, because we don't want to, because we have we're limited on ammo. We, we want to be sure that we're not gonna waste it all. Yep, it's even up. Six. Well, almost even up. Six to five. All squad mates to our south was inverted. Creeping goes down. Another squad lead down. Shout out Ritual telling this flanking squad to disengage, push north, move to the river, and then come back down south. Follow that squad in. Probably a wise choice. You don't want to get too engaged into these buildings here with a couple guys holding a door. But yeah, let them have that door. Who cares? Right, yeah. Come up behind the, the bulk of the uh, unit over there. I just hear a heavy weapon over here. They were talking about putting yep. a dish go. Yeah, like I got a dish go. Uh, like... Oh, dish go's taking fire though. That's the problem with this dish goes. They know right where you are, and you're not moving. Eight to eight, it's dead even. The Russians are moving up real close now. Smoke in advance. The southeast yeah, Bravo, what do you see? Holding. Need you guys to cap it quickly. That is crazy. Copy that. Pixels 464, six, four. yes, this is an infantry only op. We don't have too many, but this is one of them. Striking number one. Shadows we'll called out this contact we'll here in the river. We'll they're crawling up slowly, but they're going to end up facing that. Uh, the militia team down there on the south side. Oh yeah, they got a whole like, fire team and a half down here at the river's edge waiting for them. Seems the fire's calmed down just a little bit. Two, we need to keep eyes on our southwest as well. I don't want them to swing in behind. We're getting in close here. These guys are definitely within grenade range. Now they're almost in spitting distance. They're all over that white smoke. Oh, almost made it to cover. That was a squad lead. Here comes a grenade over the hill. That could get a double. That gets one. Here we go. In that window, get shot through the window right as he gets the grenade off. I feel like the militia are just getting picked off one by one, although it's still really close 11 to 9. Two kill difference. That squad coming in behind needs to uh, pick up the pace. Grenade over the wall. It's gonna be too far. Oh, those over here. Woo! I could have gotten three if it was six feet further. <laughs> Throws another one. Oh, we did get a guy. Got blood out over there. They've taken a position in three's old little uh, cubby hole uh, that we made southwest of those rock outcroppings at H3 or H831. 
So we got two hold out in this little compound, holding those corners. One team coming in from the north behind. And then the holdout squad spread out. Good line of defense down here. I like this line holding the river. Can't let them get behind you and then they'll if you 360, then it just becomes a grenade death trap. All right. And this guy in this bunker actually has really good crossfire because if anyone tries to go in that door, they're exposed to the full, uh, every single gun port from the main compound. So he's actually fairly well protected. And if only he knew how many people were <laughs> and coming right up on him. He knows he's alone. He just called it over squad comms. And there's still Russians coming in from the... Now on the west side of the peninsula. For being dead even, it does not feel like it's dead even. I feel yeah, like the, the Russians have just way more guys. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four, eight, twelve. Yeah, maybe it is about even with the squad in the back. Yeah, east side has about one squad playing off the objective. I mean, Russia has the momentum right now. If they can crush that uh, fortress, they'll have it. It's a tough nut to crack. There's a lot of open ground there. They got a flanker. Oh, that's... Uh, it's gonna be super risky. Not everyone on my screen is being highlighted. Yeah, they're, they're along the north side of the wall. They can flank around the southwest side, but that's a tough flank. There's a lot of open ground. There's a lot of open ground on all sides of this thing, basically. Uh, at least three or four. Copy. And this poor medic in here, still holding out. In the OP. I have no idea. Oh, Keep your spacing, guys. Watch uh, your spacing. I didn't hear anything. Squad, dude, we are going to be circling around still on the beach side. Yeah, flanking all the way around over here. Yep, yeah, Russia's got two different flanks going on right now. Yeah, they're doing a good job encircling them. The backs are against the wall. I can't go anywhere. Fight to the death. Yeah. Medic, 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 medic. Got him, got him. I'll cover you. This direct south flank is uh, lone soldiers. About to come into contact here. He's gonna get taken out. Takes one in the shoulder. Wounds one. Moving up on him. Gets one. Got a bandage. This guy in the reeds needs to realize what happened. Cortellian. Grenade goes out. Bandages wounds him again. Counter grenade. Into the reeds. There's the end of Cortellian. Oh, it lands pretty much on his face. Oh, okay. Not as close as I thought. Definitely close enough to wound him, though. Got good concealment in there. Oh, closed. You were in such a great spot. Potentially. I made it. I made it. Right on the outside. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of guys in one spot. Look at that. Okay. We are within grenade range. This is not combat spacing. Bad. Shame. Shame. Yeah, they get kind of lazy because there's no indirect fire with GLs or mortars, but they still get grenades. 
That is a juicy grenade target right there. Six, five to six kills with one one good grenade. And they're, yeah, they're in range. There's three or four guys that could end everyone there right now if they just knew where to throw. And there's even more joining the party. Here we go. Russia's up on the walls. Point blank. Oh, who was that? Server error goes down. Point blank. Grenades in the compound, hopefully. Grenade coming out. We got a sky grenade coming out. One grenade coming in, I think. Ooh, it missed. Sky burst. Pistol kill. Double wow. pistol kill? Who was that? Like it, yeah. Agent Fox Mulder, you cheeky bastard. Those guys get all get mowed down. They're on me. Are you still alive? They're on me right Copy. now. We're taking a nade. I'm gonna need you. Another pistol kill for Fox? Jesus. Oh, and now that lone medic is finally poking out and getting shooting people in the back. Okay. Over this hill, it's going to be a nasty surprise. Not quite running the right way. Oh yeah, he is. See if this guy has his audio up. Moving in, stalking his prey. He knows he's in line. Oh, now they're onto him. One good kill. Got a Russian fire team coming up behind him, too. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, and he goes down. Great maneuvering. I'm feeling the Russians might have this if they can coordinate a good final push to that compound. It is still very close. 30 to 27. This guy's looking for another pistol kill. Mulder. Okay, they must uh, wonder why there was clear. a advantage. Think he's out of ammo or you think he's being cheeky? Okay. He might be out of ammo. This this op really strains the uh, the clips. Yeah, it's a lot of long, medium range, low accuracy engagements. Here they come. Plenty of them coming over here. Is this are these the last two? No, there's three alive in here. Fox goes down. And this this poor guy. No, that is Fox is still up, still looking for pistol kills. Man with the golden gun. Gets another one. Wow. Is it four for him? Oh, eats a grenade after the bombardment comes in. Here we go. Is it just this one left? I believe yep. so. No, yeah, that is the last man right there. Picks up one. Bandages. Get your gun out. Get your gun out. Yep. I hope that's. Oh. Merc through the window. I believe. That game. That is game. GG comes out. Russia's take this one with the massive line push. All right. Flip sides, do it again. Take a little break, reorganize, let people get their plans going on. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes here.